Alrighty, hey there guys, it's Kim George here with another quick video tutorial to show you guys how to start selling digital products, downloads, memberships, anything essentially, um, you know, that's a digital kind of product, how to start selling it using a program called Payhip or a platform called Payhip. Now, um, this really is, um, um, if you are a, you know, um, a blogger that wants to sell digital products from your site, or if you are a services provider that wants to make some extra revenue and things like that from selling digital products outside of your services, or essentially anyone that wants a an easy way to sell digital products and just earn some extra revenue, you know, with those products, then I would highly suggest checking out Payhip. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I do love about this platform is that you can actually get started for free. So as you can see here, you click on the get started for free button and this is what it's going to take you to. This is where you can kind of do your, um, you know, entering your email address. You can choose a password to set up your account and all of that good stuff. And that is essentially how you would get started with using this platform. Now, if we go over to the pricing, we're just going to look at this for just a little bit so you can see the three different options that you have available here. As you can see here, they have a free forever plan, which you get access to all of their features. You can um, upload unlimited products. You can you can add or, or generate unlimited revenue and you just have a 5% transaction fee. So that basically means, for example, if you're selling a $19 product, then you can expect to make around $18.99 or somewhere close to that for selling that product due to the 5% transaction fee. If you decide to use the plus, pro, uh, plus program, you have a 2% transaction fee. And then if you decide to go with their pro program, um, then you have zero transaction fees, right? Now, another thing that I do love about this platform is that you get to um, sell digital downloads and you get to create memberships. So if you have some kind of membership, um, you know, membership that you're thinking about creating where you can earn some extra recurring revenue, then you can definitely do that with um, with this platform. And the great thing about this is that, you know, you don't have to try to integrate all these different kind of technical things and all this kinds of stuff to make everything work. You know, all you have to do is just put all of your information here in Payhip and they're going to take care of everything for you. Okay. So as you can see, as an example, they have here, if somebody wanted to create like a monthly a uh, cooking gift box kind of membership, then all you have to do is just kind of set that up. You can set up the different tiers that you want to create for that program. And, you know, again, Payhip is going to do all of everything for you. It has your checkout. It has your um, payment gateways, which you can use Stripe. And you can also use uh, PayPal to accept payments. It has all of these things embedded in the platform for you. So again, you don't have to try to piece make or piecemeal everything together. Okay. And so again, I just think it's a really cool little platform for anyone who wants to sell digital products and memberships of any kind. Now, what I wanted to do was to show you guys really, really quickly how easy it is to start selling or to add a digital product to start selling it from Payhip. So as you can see, I'm already logged into the dashboard of my Payhip account. And then what it's going to ask you to do is after you log into the dashboard, you can come over into your account. I would suggest going to account settings. So you can start adding some of your information in here regarding your business and things like that. Okay. Then once you do that, you're just going to come over to the product section right here. Actually, let me get logged back in. Log me out, which is no problem. So I'm going to get logged back in really quickly. Okay. And then once you get logged in, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to where it says products. Okay. And then I'm going to go to add a product. Now, when you get to add a product, it's going to ask you, okay, well, what kind of product do you want to sell? Do you want to sell a digital product, a physical product? Or do you want to set up a membership where you can you know, create some recurring revenue? I'm going to go ahead and do add digital product because that's what I'm going to be selling. OK, now here is where you can start adding in all of the information for the said digital product that you want to sell. So as you can see here, it's, it's asking, OK, well, let's go ahead and upload a product file. I'm just going to upload this 30 day social media calendar as an example, because it's a PDF, it's something easy and it's something that, you know, people can download fairly easily. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that as the product that I'm selling. And then now it's going to ask you to choose a title for your product. I'm just going to do a 31 day 
uh, a social media promo calendar. Okay. And then I'm going to set a price. So here I'll just say maybe I'm going to sell this thing for, and I wouldn't sell this for $14.99, but I'm going to sell it for $14.99. Now, the next thing that it's going to ask you is to start uploading some images, videos, and things like that to kind of market the product and give people a little snippet of what they can expect. Now, I use Canva to design all of my product images. As an example, this is something that I created uh, with Canva. And so um, I've already downloaded the cover of what I'm going to be uploading. So I'm just going to go to upload a product image. And this is the cover of the product. So I'm going to upload this. Now, as you can see, it does say that the recommended minimum image width is 670 pixels. I would definitely stick to that. You know, in Canva, you can create custom dimensions for things that you want to create. And so you can actually go in Canva, whip up a really nice little uh, product promo image to add into your PayHip account so that you can associate that with your products. Okay. And then here is where you want to kind of add a great product description. Now I'm not going to write anything out. I'm just going to kind of copy and paste this uh, this text here from the, you know, the dummy text or whatever, but here's where you really want to add a great product description. Now I will tell you some of the things that you do want to include in your product description could be things like, you know, how does this product, who is this product for? So if you're creating like a 30 day marketing, uh, social media marketing calendar, then you know, it's going to be for social media marketers, maybe solopreneurs that don't have anyone, uh, doing their social media for them and so on and so forth. So who is the product for? Um, number two could be, you know, what are the benefits of using this product? How is it going to help your audience with a problem? So if I'm doing, doing a social media marketing calendar, well, the benefit is that it's going to take away the frustration of having to sit down and figure out what to post to social media every month, right? Okay. So then you can also do some of the features of that product. So maybe the, the calendar is going to include, you know, 30 done for you prompts that you can post every day to your social media account without having to think about it from scratch. You know, another feature is that you can use this for all of your social media accounts and so on and so forth. So those are some of the features and things like that. Um, you know, another thing that you want to consider is adding a great strong call to action. You know, make sure that you down, you know, click here to download this right away, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. So you definitely want to make sure that you add a super strong product description to your product that is going to compel people to take action. You don't want to just throw something up there that's just like <laughs> bland and boring. You definitely want to get people excited about, you know, why they should download or why they should grab your product. Okay. All right. So you're going to add your product description. Um, I'm not going to really do advanced options, but once you're finished with everything, then you're just going to go to add a product. Okay. So after you add your product, it's going to come up with a page that says your product has been added. And then what you can do is you can click on where it says, show me my product page. And this is what the product page looks like. This is the graphic that I created. This is the title of the product. This is the price. Um, this is where you would, of course, add that great product description. Um, as you can see here, you can actually share this on Pinterest. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it in a tweet. Now, another thing that you can do is once you have added your product is you can actually click here to copy this link to start selling online. So essentially, if you have, for example, a WooCommerce store, then what you can do is you can actually take the link here and paste this into the add to cart button on your WooCommerce store. So that when people go to your WooCommerce store and they see this product there, it's going to actually take them over to PayHip where they can purchase the product. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, another thing that you can do is you can, again, you can share this on Facebook, you can share it on Twitter, and it was some other things in here too. Let's see. It had an embed button that I was looking for to show you how to, let me go to products here. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to go over the products because I wanted to show you the share and embed features that they do have, and I do, I do like this a lot. So again, there's three different ways that you can start promoting this product. Again, you can copy the link, to promote it, you know, copy and paste the link if you want to put, uh, promote it on Twitter, Facebook, all that kinds of stuff. Your social media, you can do that. You can actually add an embed button to your sales page, for example. If you create a sales page specifically for your product, you can actually click on the embed button. You can see here they have the text. You can do buy now or you can do, um, let's see here. 
you can do, you know, add to cart. So you basically can change up the different calls to actions for this button. You can change your color. So if you want to do blue, that's what blue looks like. If you want to do gray or if you want to do none, um, I actually like to stick with, would stick with like a green or a blue or something like that, right? And then they have the button type. Do you want this to be a direct purchase or do you want them to add this to a cart? So for example, if you want it to be able to sell multiple items from your shop, then the best thing to do would be able to, to do just add to cart instead of doing direct purchase, right? Because you want to give people the opportunity to add multiple items to your cart, okay? And then the last thing is you can actually, once you're finished with adding these settings, you can do get an embed code. And then here is where you can actually start embedding these codes into your website or wherever you want those to appear. And so I thought that was pretty cool. And then the last thing is an embed page. So if you wanted to actually embed this product into a page on your website or a blog, you can just go to the embed code. You can copy this and you would just paste this into your website or your blog. Okay. Now, Again, this product, or the, not this product, but this platform, in my opinion, guys, is really, really easy to use. I love it. I think it's great. I would highly suggest heading over to check it out. Um, you know, like I said, you can get started for free. You don't have to pay anything. I'm going to log out here. Um, you don't have to pay anything to get started. It does take a little bit of a transaction fee out to, you know, to sell products, but it's, it's really a minimal fee, you know, for having everything, a one-stop shop for selling all of your, you know, all kinds of digital products and things like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video tutorial on PayHip. Um, I am an affiliate just in transparency for this product. I do use this to sell on, on one of the sites that I have, and it's been phenomenal for me. So I just wanted to share this video tutorial to show you how easy it is to get started with selling digital downloads using PayHip. So I'd love to know um, in the description below or in the comments below, you know, what you're using to sell uh, your digital products or if you're planning to give PayHip a try. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. There's going to be more video tutorials headed your way. Take care and have a good one, guys. Bye!